There is a place where you can sit on board a late 19th century train and travel to the Europe of today, accompanied by an exceptional witness, Alcide di Gasperi. There he is, waiting for you in the waiting room. Direction? Trent? Vienna? Rome? They're all his cities. Just get here to Pieve Tesino in Trentino, where he was born in 1881, and browse around on board the de Gasperi House Museum. It's already time to leave. Outside the window there are country houses, valleys, the Habsburg Empire, with its many languages and creeds, the Belle Epoque, and the first winds of instability for the whole continent. Around the corner, there is the shadow of the Great War, the meaningless slaughter. Trentino emerges under another flag, the Italian one. Shortly thereafter, democracy's dark night begins with totalitarian regimes in Europe, then the carnage of World War II, the physical, moral and political reconstruction of Italy, the economic boom and the many cultures of Europe, a Europe that is gathering strength and trying to give continuity to a concrete ideal of peace. From this corner of Trentino, it is Alcide de Gasperi who shows us that Europe has achieved great results. Respect for civil rights, welfare, democracy and peaceful coexistence. This house museum, which does not contain artifacts or relics, but rather memories and ideas, is an open window to the future and a balcony over the promises that Europe has so far neglected but can still honour. We are in a corner of the Alps, at the foot of the Lagarai Ranges, the wildest and most unspoiled mountain range in the province of Trent. It is a green valley dotted with small villages, a 45 minute drive from Trent and just over an hour's drive from Venice. This is the intersection of our common roots, the spirit of citizenship and the idea of a future for all. The four levels of the Pieve Tesino, de Gasperi House Museum, are like historical layers of magma, never settled forever, but constantly evolving and changing. Behind the round spectacles of our travel companion lies the story of his life as a statesman, a frontier politician, a builder of Europe, as well as the radiant and often tragic epic of this short century. In the rooms of this house museum, we discover the Catholic de Gasperi of the mountains, the Trentino man who felt Italian and the man who sat in Parliament in Vienna and then Rome in the Kingdom of Italy and in the Republic. We find de Gasperi, the journalist, the anti-fascist who paid for his love of democracy and freedom with a prison sentence, the family man, statesman, prime minister and foreign minister. We see a man of the border, just like Adenauer, Schumann and Monet, who were fathers of Europe and children of a frontier which has many identities often overlapping and wanting to recognize its many cultures and different affiliations, knowing that autonomy of the territories engenders a sense of responsibility. Through the films projected, documents exhibited and materials presented in these spaces, we can grasp the magnitude of this micro history and the crudeness of many pages of larger history. The pictures that we see on the walls of this special house are the politics of the common good the economy and a cooperative spirit, the social doctrine of the Catholic Church, associations, citizenship, culture and respect for identity. It is a house, just as we would like our own to be, where we can see different elements in harmony and the individual sounds that become music. Outside, there is a garden full of flowers, all different but each essential to the others. Alcide de Gasperi has left us, but he reminds us to water this garden a little every day.